Oneness is really about noticing the connection and relationships of all things. And you realize how every little thing influences every other thing. When we hate others, we have hate in our heart. And it is tormenting. Even if we feel in the moment it's justified and righteous, it is a complete disturbance of our inner peace. That hate has a very heavy negative energy. And the only way to be fully in peace and joy is to nurture our compassion. And the more compassion we have, the more love we have, and the more joy and peace we have in our lives. I think that truly everything in this universe is perfection. And the only areas where we all sense that the world's kind of going in the wrong direction is stemming from the human mind. And when we are living out of tune with nature, our own nature, when we are not getting enough sunshine, nature, social connection, um, free time to meditate, think, reflect, it creates a short circuit in our brain software and we need to reset that and we see the symptoms of that in society through the cruelty and selfishness when we are out of tune with our own nature when we're living against our true purpose it is what creates all of the problems we see in our society and so to get back to that you know it really helps to look at nature and the balance and the perfection and the complexity yet organization that arises from this harmonious ecosystem all around us when you can get away from human involvement you can see this perfection but if you can't have access to that if you live in a big city there is always a sky or a plant or we all have the ability to close our eyes and we are life and we can sense that perfection in us. We all are these perfect, miraculous, magical, mysterious beings. And when we eat the way we're supposed to eat and we move the way we're supposed to move, we can bring that balance back to us too. How we feel about others is so often a reflection of how we feel about ourselves. When we are confident, when we love ourselves, that gets projected into the world. And we see love everywhere. You know, what you have inside is, is projected outward as well. So, it's super important to recognize that we're really, strangers really are a mirror and we are really seeing ourselves. And when we feel love, when we feel love towards ourselves and confident, we see a loving, wonderful world. And when we are constantly stressed, worried, fearful of others or anything, then that is because we have fear. We have stress. And it's really not about other people. What is more important in the spiritual path is to look at our thoughts and emotions as the object of our focus. These are what we can control. These are in our domain to touch, nurture, nourish the good aspects and weed out the negative aspects like hatred and fear. And so when we do this, 
we actually change the world. We actually... By becoming more loving, we project that out and it creates ripple effects in millions and countless ways. And so it's really important to see others as ourselves because we all are ultimately the same life force energy. There's no one who has a different life force energy. We all have that same electrical spark inside of us that makes us who we are and we really are all the same and the more we treat people with love or the more we even treat people like they're great they will be greater they will see themselves through you because we are a mirror for them as well and so we really can completely change the way we see the world and the way the world response to us. And, and it doesn't maybe feel like hating yourself, but hating yourself can be experienced more as feelings of extreme worry. We can project it, hating others. We can feel like our lives aren't the way they should be, the way we want them to be, the world isn't the way we want it to be. And But this is really hating ourselves, hating our lives, hating the world. And so it it really does come down to whatever we feel inside, we project it. And you know, it just, it radiates from us. We can either generate peace and love or chaos and anger and greed. We have to expand our perspective. We have to widen our view. We always have a clear picture when we can take a step back. And so it's really important to Notice and remember that people are a product of their environment. They are a product of their genetics, their upbringing, and we are all the same when you strip those things away. We all want love. We all want a good life. We all want to be successful and have recognition and have all of our needs met. And unfortunately, some people get their software little wires mixed in their mind. It leads to all the suffering we see, cruelty and crime. And so we need to remember that we are all doing our best because it's really true no one wants a difficult life everyone is doing their best to have a simple easy good life and nobody wants a struggling hard life and so when we can really turn our hatred into empathy and understanding. We will see people as their potential, not just their worst moments. And we can let go of expectations for other people. And we can just appreciate this multi varied forms of life that make up all of our experiences good bad you know it's all just part of the the tapestry and it's beautiful the more we become disconnected from nature the more we are disconnected from our food and the undeveloped forests and nature that we used to live in we became disconnected from the oneness. Oneness is really about noticing the connection and relationships of all things. And you realize how every little thing influences every other thing. And it's harder but not impossible to 
experience when we live in cities and food doesn't look like food anymore. <laughs> but it's also very easy to get back to. And, and it can be a little harder if you're very old and you have these very ingrained mental thought habits. You know, you think this certain way. It's hard to change, but it's not impossible. And it's really easier than most people think. It's just like creating any new habit, and it just takes practice and repetition. But the more we focus on how everything is connected, the more we can keep that uh, understanding at all times. I like to occasionally um, say a little prayer to all the gods, all the beings, all the Buddhas, all the gurus. I don't even know if any of them are real, <laughs> but it's about expressing love and gratitude to the universe and to everything that is and everything that may be. And to me, they're just tools for expressing even more love and more gratitude.